Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue talking about the attributes and the describing the objects. And today we will talk about measuring by the attributes. When we talk about measuring, so we will talk about some tools that we can use to measure some attributes, like when we measure the weight or the height or the capacity of the object. But some attributes cannot be measured. We will see some examples. This apple, I can use the scale to measure the weight of this apple. And also, I can use the cubes to measure the height of this apple. But I can't use the, the cup to measure the capacity of this apple, right? And there is something also that cannot be measured, but it can be described, like the color of the apple. This apple, I can describe it as a red apple, but I can't uh, measure the color, okay? Let's see another example. I have this water bottle. This water bottle can be measured by the cup to measure the capacity of this water bottle. Also, I can use the cubes to measure the height of this water bottle. Also, I can use the scale to measure how weight is it. But this water bottle, it has water. I can't measure how does it, how does it taste or I can't uh, describe uh, the description of how the water is being tasted cannot be measured with a tool. Now I want everyone to come with me to watch this video and after that we will come back to our page. Marta is looking at this vase. What attributes of the vase could Marta measure? She could measure the height, weight, or capacity of the vase. What does it mean to measure the height of the vase? It means to find how tall the vase is. What does it mean to measure the weight of the vase? It means to find how heavy the vase is. What does it mean to measure the capacity of the vase? It means to find how much the vase holds. Marta is thinking about three tools she can use to measure the vase. Which tool would Marta use to tell about the height of the vase? She would use cubes. Which tool would she use to tell about the weight of the vase? She would use the balance scale. Which tool would she use to tell about the capacity of the vase? She would use the measuring cup. Which attributes of the vase is Marta thinking about now? She is thinking about the color of the vase and what the vase could be used for. Can Marta use any of the tools to tell about these attributes? No, some attributes are not measurable. Look at the flowers. The height and weight of the flowers tell about the flowers and can be described with tools. The color and smell of the flowers are attributes that tell about the flowers, but cannot be described using the tools. Tools can help us find out some things about an object, but not everything. Okay guys, so now I want everyone to get his uh, math book because we're going to start working now on page 300, uh, 800, sorry, 30 and 831 and 832 so now we want to start with uh, the instructions Re let's read them together 
we will uh, have students look at the object on the left and identify the attributes that can be measured. Then we will draw a circle around the tool that would be used to tell about uh, this, uh, those attributes and mark X on the tools that couldn't help us to measure. Okay, so first of all, we will look at this button. We cannot measure the color, but we can tell about the color, right? We can use the cubes to measure the height of the button. And we can also measure the weight of the button by using the scale. Okay, let's come to number two in page 831. We cannot measure the color, but we can tell about it. So, also we can use the scale to tell us about the weight of the pail. Also, the cup will be helpful for us to measure the capacity of the pail. What about the flower? Yes, the color the color can be described, but it cannot be measured. The cubes, we can measure the height of the flower by the cubes, but we can't use also the cup because the flower is not liquid. Great job, everyone. Okay, let's come to number four and talk about the brush. The brush, the brush color is not measurable. So we will not, we will put X on the color. We can take the height of the brush, but we can't use the cup because it's not a liquid. Okay, let's see this pail. As I told you before, the colors are not measurable, but we can take the weight of this pail and we can take the height by the cubes of this Pale. Okay, let's see the last page for today. Page 832. Okay, I will make it bigger a little bit. Let's start. Okay, now we want to read the instructions first of all. Have students look at the object on the left and identify the attributes that be measured. Then students have draw a circle around the tools that could be used to tell about those attributes and mark an X on the tools that couldn't ha and couldn't measure the attributes. Okay, let's see. We have this track. Okay, the color will not be measurable for us, but the cubes will help us and the scale will, will help us also to measure the weight. What about this wagon in number seven? The color will not be measurable, miserable, measured, sorry. And um, the cubes will help me, but also the cup can help me to measure the capacity of this wagon. So I will circle also the cup. Maybe I will put sand in it, I can measure the sand or I can put water inside it, also it can be measured. Okay, now let's see this color palette. Can I have the, the weight of this? No, I cannot take it with the cup also. Let's read the instructions of number eight. Have students draw a circle around two measuring tools that and then we will draw an object that could be measured using the tools they circled. So now you will, you will circle two objects and you need to um, draw something that can be measured by this. Okay, for Miss Sarah, I will color the scale and the cup. I will draw apple here to be measured. 